and for the tip we will be a farmer and the bar of former TV. So, let video we should use on Baby Boy Age is a documentary that try and find your mom being young because a showboy in Nana and not go for you and so and who are just a video you must know to me say, Mom, be a bit of a doctor and move on your board. Hey, Nana, I don't go for you. I was so you pass in fact. Or you need to be a one of the more different. My video, it is a limited answer in summer and what you do never and be doing and come. Yes, I was I was new in active politics uh, in 2008. I was selected in August of 2008, and the election was in December. So I had a very short period, you know, in terms of campaigning. Uh, but of course, uh, the president was an experienced campaigner. He had been in the game for quite a long time and he gave me advice on how to proceed, uh, which I, I took. Uh, and, and it was a very hectic campaign. We went very hard during 2008. As far as I'm concerned, 2008, we shouldn't have lost. But whatever be the case, we were declared the losers. Uh, unfortunately, we won the first round, but we didn't get uh, a requisite 23,000 additional votes to get 50% plus one. We were, I think, at 49.8% or so. Um, but um, we, we learned from that experience. Despite the 2008 defeat, Nana Ekufuado did not give up. He launched a strong campaign in the lead up to the 2012 general elections. Nana Ekufuado lost the election to President John Mahama, but chose the constitutionally prescribed procedure to challenge the results of the Supreme Court. Throughout the court press process, we proved, in fact, that we did win the election. Unfortunately, we didn't get, but to us, we were very confident that we had proven the case. Unfortunately, we didn't get the verdict. We might not have been given the ruling we sought, but thanks to our efforts, we can hopefully look forward to an improved electoral process in our country. 2012, after the Supreme Court read it, and after he, 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 he gave that um, historic uh, statement and speech uh, after the elections, you know, the dust has settled down. And in, as you know, when the elections are over and the results are declared, you normally will not find too many people come around again. And I was there with him, a couple of uh, political actors, and he immediately began talking about when will be the next uh, internal elections as in polling station, electoral area, regional, national election, national executive elections. And John Bodu, I remember, Mr. John Bodu was there, was also part of that. And he began asking him questions that what is going to happen next? What is going to take place? And that was always the attitude. Every time the losses have been difficult or were difficult, but he always moves straight on. He doesn't, I know the very first time in um, 2008, after we lost, uh, it came home and I was so sad and everything. And, you know, almost in tears. And he just said, look, slap out of it. Um, you know, just um, let's move on. And um, that's how he is. He doesn't um, cry over spilled milk. I remember as well, actually, Jefferson, when we lost in 208. And um, me and my younger sister, we stayed up for him. Everyone had gone to sleep. It was very late, it was like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. And my younger sister and I waited up for him. You know, we just, we didn't know why. We just wanted to make sure our father was okay. You know, we were angry. You know, we were, how could they do this? And what have they done? And, you know, and ready to, you know, sit down and talk to our dad and, you know, build him back up. And, you know, and he came home and he said that he was sad. And he said that he just feels that he's let the Ghanaian people down. It wasn't that he, he felt that he should have been in power or that it would have been better, you know? It was just that he felt that, that he let the Ghanaian people down. And what it did is that it educated my sister and I a little bit more than being patriotic. Uh, Nana Kofuado's fortitude uh, and the clarity um, uh, and, 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 and basically what he was giving me in particular, uh, that, look, we can do it. Let's just go and work hard. The next election, we will be able to make it. And I believe that, and we worked very, very hard, and uh, 
we, we got to make it. Every mother and father, all hope that education will help their children escape poverty and give them access to a good life. Every child, rich or poor, able-bodied or disabled, deserves a good education. Free secondary education is at the heart of the MPP program. His 2016 comeback was even stronger Winning overwhelmingly at the presidential election and for the first time in the history of our country, not only did he defeat an incumbent president, but he did so with a whooping one million vote margin. The only way we can guarantee the future of Ghana is to bring in the NTT to rebuild our country. And then I won't reserve protect and defend the constitution of, of the republic of ghana so help me god for many ghanaians this victory in 2016 came with a renewed hope the new patriotic party had also won majority in parliament it will not be easy we have no illusions whatsoever it will require sacrifice but it can be done I remember that Akufuado teasing me that I wasn't smiling as much <laughs> after the swearing in, you know, before the swearing in was a lot of euphoria and all of that. And then after the swearing in, I had to re, I had to focus on what we needed to deliver. One day, um, I went to Nima uh, to see him at the office before we go for uh, a meeting in Ringway. And I entered the office and he looked up at me and said, Oh, the first woman female chief of staff. What? It's never happened before. And I never thought of it. But I believe strongly that his, the role that he has given me is a, a strong commitment to the advancement of women. Sometimes when I see his passion for Ghana and doing things right for Ghana, I, I believe that it came from that early start. He's, he's been very uh, clear in, in wanting to put Ghana where he wants it to be all these years. So I, I, I see that, I mean, you see that through, throughout his political life, fighting for the right things, democracy, and all of that. As president, Nana Ekufu Ado hit the ground running from day one. The implementation of his major campaign promise, the free senior high school policy, could not even wait for a year. By September 2017, the first batch of this revolution... NHS and Senkaka FIA man being Nana Adedan Kwa Ekufu Ado, showboy. And so, I was what I say. Vice President, interesting thing for the donor to me to a day, someone to be a vice president to write an airborne about the same facts. Another day, another day, or demonstrate who can assume some upper point in two top comment section also for chair watching. Now, my brother's material can kind at the amount. My crown.